Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my dad walk on. Man, hold up. I done up and done it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm still running down through Dallas, man. Wide open on the freeway, nigga. Yes. 635, 75. Uh, 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 what? Give me some more, uh, nigga. 45. 45, nigga. Give yeah. me some more, nigga. Yeah. Give me some hey, more. Hey, Highway 5, nigga, up in uh, Lucas, nigga. Wherever you yeah. want to be, I'm there. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Like the bell line. Hey, man, my boy Lil Will is in the building. Y'all hear that voice, man. Y'all done heard this man. That my Dougie. Yes, yes. Man, bust it. Yes. All this, all these different songs, man, that came out in an era where, man, you know, we wouldn't have never expected to see that type of change. But we're going to get into that. Uh, I'm, I'm, Mr. Maker, what's going on today? None. You know, I like to take it way back. I want to know about your bringing. I want to know you were raised in... What area of Texas? North, North Dallas. North Dallas is what I thought. Um, be specific. What part of North Dallas? Uh, Northeast Dallas. Skillman. Skillman. And that's yes. what I was wondering. Skillman. Yeah, Skillman and I did. Yeah. Like that's yeah. the most popular part. Like everybody I know that say North Dallas, that's mainly where everybody be from. You know, you know. see, that's nowadays. Back in the day, they they didn't like to claim that side. They Web said Chapel was jumping too. Yeah. Web Chapel was the area, man. They yeah. didn't, when it came to the north, they didn't. You know, they considered us as the white area. We, we was looked at like Garland. Mm. You know, we was like Garland, McKinney. I, they didn't, it wasn't So it no used to be a nice it. area back then. Yeah. And now what is it? Uh, It's it's hood. It's, <laughs> yeah. They tore the city up, and I'm not going to say that. I just said I'm going to stop saying that because they really <laughs> didn't tear the city up. What it is, it's the city that, that they don't show attention to that part of the city when they see certain different demographics living there. Yes. So it's really not that they tore the city up. You go over to different city, like you go over to Plano or you go over to different places, Rockwall, they, the upkeep is different. Yeah. So that's the whole game, and then we play into it by yes. thinking we in a ghetto mentally. Yeah, see, you know, I'm you know I'm dope. I'm like a psychologist <laughs> in this whole. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And that's what it was, man. And uh, it really didn't. It really didn't start transitioning until cats like Pookie and Lucha, you know, came and did their things. And uh, K Rock can't forget about K Rock. Okay. But when them boys came and did their thing, then it started transitioning, and then you know it became an area to to claim and rep. You know. You but know. you said when you were growing up back then, um, skimming audio, you said it wasn't bad back then. Uh, yes, it was. was it? You know, it it's, was. it's 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 crime that go on everywhere. It's mm -hmm. crime that happened in Plano, in you know McKinney Island, but yeah. it's not you know it's not glorified. Exactly. Yeah, you people know? will walk so, up and do anything to you. Not yeah, hit, hit hit old folk, hit people. Hit, they yeah. used to hit you. you niggas still on a nigga and, and then and walk take away. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go <laughs> on, you, punch it, knock it out, take it, go in your pocket and walk away. Mm. But you know, so it, it wasn't glorified. It wasn't a thing to do or be rep. You know, mm -hmm. until those guys came along. In my wow. eyes, because I, I moved here from at, uh, from New Orleans. Oh, okay, how yeah. old were you when you moved from uh, New Orleans? My mother moved to Dallas in ninety five. That was before so. How Katrina. old are you? Yeah, how old were you Katrina. then? Uh, in ninety five, I still was a kid. I can't. I actually. Do you stayed, remember? I stayed in New Orleans, and uh, I came here after I graduated elementary. So okay. I was about 12 years old. Okay, so you remember New Orleans pretty yes. well. Oh, yeah. So did you miss it when you left? Uh, yeah, at the time I did. But as I stayed here and got to, you know, becoming my own and, mm -hmm. you know, learning things, meeting new friends and people, I didn't want to go back. Because so then you had the New Orleans accent back then yes. when you was a kid. Yes, real tough. Did they treat you differently when you moved here? Yes, <laughs> yes. Did you like uh, music back then at 12? Yes. So did you know about Peach's Record Store? No. You didn't? That was uh -huh. That's where and we interviewed. I just interviewed down there. Yeah. Up, uh, she uh, helped uh, Master P and Birdman uh, uh, careers when okay. she sent out BG's okay. uh, first CD to Universal and stuff like that. Like Her name is uh, Sharani. Mm -hmm. Shout out Sharani at Peaches. Uh, you'll see Manny Fresh. Matter of fact, uh, Mia X used to work there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I went down there and did interviews all day. I, I, I loved it down there too, man. Them good people, man. They embrace uh, you, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't, uh, at the time, yeah, I was into music, but. Uh, Just to I make them round? Yeah, I wasn't that far into it. So, oh, but really? that back then you were into sports. Cause you know, most, you know, yes. kids are usually like, what did you play? Football, uh, basketball? I played baseball? everything I could. Yep. Everything. Football, basketball, baseball. Were you good at any of them? Yes. 
As a matter of fact, I was very on, good man, at stop, bro. Man, I was come very on, good at football. Come on and, here with that, bro, What man. position you played at football, bro? Uh, niggas do this when they get older. They go to telling these big fish stories. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I actually go ahead had and tell me, man. I, uh, where the papers at, man? Cause we did newspaper clipping oh, back yeah. then. Oh, I where the clips at, the man? Clips and the uh, and the <laughs> trophies. <laughs> And the trophies to justify, man. <laughs> I uh, I played tailback though. I was a I was our tailback. What you running the forty, back. bro? I was a four six. Four six. Yeah, four. I was about four five and they gotta eat you up, nigga. Oh nah. Ooh, I'd have smoked this dude, mm -mm. man. In, in the forty? Mm -mm. Walk that boy. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. You see that boy uh T, T O did that. He did the did the same Yeah, thing. I just seen he it. He did yeah. that party and whooped mm -hmm. some young boys. Yeah, them young boys out there. He still got it. He still got it. They playing, man. That man is a uh a, a robot. He been, you know. Go ahead, Steph. So did you, um, so growing up there, you had siblings? Yes. How many of y'all? Uh, one. I just had one little brother. Little brother, my, no sisters? Yeah, no sisters. My pops end up having more kids as I got older, and uh, they all boys, too. Oh, it, it runs in the family? Because you got two boys, no girls. Yeah, I know. I have a girl. Oh, you I finally have, had I a have, girl? Yes, I have the only girl in the whole family. Wow. I bet yeah. you she's spoiled Ron. Rod 10. How old like, is she? She's 12. Wow. So, um, growing up around all boys, what was that like being in New Orleans? And then your mom and dad, were they together? No. My pops was incarcerated in Angola. In where? Angola. Angola. Where's down Angola? There, down there in Louisiana. Yeah, in Louisiana. Louisiana? Yeah. How old was uh, How old were you when he got incarcerated? Uh, when he was in, I think I was maybe three years old when he got incarcerated. He got uh, out when I was 15. Mac uh, was uh, 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 incarcerated. I don't know if he was, did he say he was in Angola? Mac. I'm not sure. Yes. That's yeah. my boy. Yeah, Mac. I interviewed him at Peaches. Uh-huh. Me and him rocked out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My pops uh my pops ended up getting a major stint from coming here. Mm. Coming here to Texas, doing wow. his thing, going back home up ten and uh mm -hmm. got jammed up and he ended up doing thirteen. Wow. So Okay, so how old you say? I, I, I didn't catch that. How old you say you were when he got locked up? Uh, I was maybe two or three years old. Oh, so you don't even remember yeah, anything about... Anything. And when he came out? When he came out, I was a old? young man. How I old was, were you? I was 13 years old. So at that time, were, was your mom taking you to go see him when he was in prison? Yes. So you were still building a relationship with him and stuff like that during yes. that time? Yes, I were... That's one of the things I, I remember telling him that we had a conversation not too long ago, and mm -hmm. I was telling him like, "Man, I remember we used to come see you, and uh, we would go through the checkpoint. Mm -hmm. We still have to drive 10, 15 miles within, you know, in this gated area mm -hmm. just to get to the prison where y'all at." Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, he, wow. was, he was laughing about that shit, but it wasn't funny to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But when he but, came out, you were able to build a relationship since you were going back and forth to prison and talking to him. Because you know, sometimes yes. when you're a young man and then your dad come home from prison, you're like, oh, you, you, you can't tell me what to do. I'm grown right now. Yeah. So did you have that type of relationship with him, or were you like, you know, you couldn't wait for him to come home? Yes, I did, and it took just for one time. He got on my ass and <laughs> real talk, and that was over with. That was over. With. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So being being uh, down in Louisiana, that's a whole different ball game when it comes to the justice system. Oh yeah, them boys talk heavy about it. But Mac was telling me that they had a solution to the gang violence. They don't have gangs, he say. Yeah, because they put them all in a one tank and just and let them everything die. wide open. Uh huh. You talk crazy to that one. You gotta sleep by that one at night. Yeah, that's crazy, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, that's real crazy. <laughs> that's real crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in that one. On me, but now. I I like I like uh, I, I like the fact that uh, you did have some some grit in there when you were little. That, that matters, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. We're going through like that, right? Mm -hmm. So see, that was, that was one of the things that I always uh, you know changed my mind state on just how I, I moved and how I did music because you know coming from New Orleans to Dallas, and then I I didn't actually just stay in Dallas that long. I was here in Dallas maybe five six years. Got into some trouble. Mom was like, hell no. She sent me to Atlanta where my pops had moved at. Oh, okay, so, yeah. Moms always do that because yeah. they can't handle y'all. Yeah. You know, although I hear some men sit here and like, oh, my mom was like the dad. She can pull me up. But really, a man, you stronger than her. Yeah, yeah. My mom a little, man. She ain't, you know, when it was, by, the, by that age, it wasn't too much she could do. You know, she well, was already beating us with the broomsticks and all that after that. Yeah, can't be scared of her no yeah. more. What kind of trouble did you get into when you were here for the first time? Uh, I I wasn't really like. I didn't get in trouble at school. Mm -hmm. After school, I did things like she worked a lot. 
so I'll be on the block with the hustlers. Mm -hmm. I'm out selling crack. She coming there. She finding dope in her house and lots of money and shit. Like, where this come from? New clothes and all this. You know what I'm saying? So that was the kind of trouble, and that's what she was trying to steer me away from. But you didn't get in trouble with the laws back then for it? Yes, I did. You did? Yes. Okay, I, did my you? My first time going to jail, I was like 15. Okay. Did you serve time? No. Okay. I didn't serve no time. How did you uh, get out of it? Um, it was my first charge. I still was a minor. They gave me like six months probation. It was for a little bullshit gun charge. Like six months papers. Did the six months, and uh, she sent me to Atlanta. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, so you get down to Atlanta. How old are you again? Uh, get down to Atlanta. I'm 15, maybe 16. 15. Who, who you know down in Atlanta? Nobody but my daddy. And he down there talking crazy, or he chilling, or what he? Uh, he was chilling. You know, he was fresh home, uh, into a new marriage, so he was chilling. Uh, I was still alive. Why? But what year was this? This was, um, two thousand, two thousand one. Two thousand and one. You you down there, and niggas doing that body head. You know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then they doing and the little T. stump, T. the T. little T. I. But the stump, you know, I'm talking yeah. about that. That them them niggas had a little stump dance. Mm -hmm. Why they? You remember, it, don't yeah, you? That, yeah, 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 huh, yeah, yeah, huh, yeah, huh, yeah. Huh, 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 yeah. Huh, and and huh, so these young niggas, blood, yeah, young the blood. young blood, young them, blood. Little, them little niggas, were, they were hard. Mm -hmm. But but and Atlanta was getting a real serious. Uh, 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 it had the buzz at that time. Oh, yeah. It was buzzing. It wasn't just yeah. hot, hot, hot. It was going there though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jermaine Dupri was hanging out with Jay Z. Mm -hmm. They were doing songs from uh, 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 New York. To Welcome to it. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. they playing games with us. It was real vibrant, man. Shout out to that boy Sean Powell too, man. A lot of people Sean don't know. Paul. I got Sean Powell on the remix to Bust It Open, man. For real? Yes. Like, yes, like yes. that's hard, man. Yeah. Shout out that boy Sean Powell. Man. That, that nigga was hard. Yeah. He was the hardest one in the group, though. Yeah. Respect. <laughs> You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. so when you first, uh, 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 so you get down to Atlanta, uh, when did you start to, to really get serious about music? We're going to go there, okay? Mm -hmm. when, did, when did you start to really get serious about the music? Uh, I was serious. Uh, before you I, left? Yes, yes, before I left. When I got to Atlanta, it really uh, changed my mind state and showed me that it was real. Yeah. Because uh, I had started a, a rap group in Atlanta. What was the name of uh, it? Money High. Y'all got anything on the internet? No. But how, what was the name? What was money? Money High. Money Hive. Like a oh, money hive. Like a beehive. Okay, yeah. Yes, uh, Money Hive, and uh, it was with it was actually with Ti Little Cousin. Okay, and and so what's Ti Little Cousin name? Uh, Mon. Rest in peace, man. My partner. Oh, he Mon. passed away. Yes, Mon. Yes, Mon. My what type of Mon. dude was Mon? Uh, alive. Why? Oh, so he was. He wanted them to go and get to it. Yes, I always. Was he from Bankhead? Yes. No, he was from uh, McKenneville. Okay, but cause I know T.I. Yeah, yeah. His grandma was in Bankhead. Yeah. Uh, Shawty Losey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them boys. Yeah, yeah, Shawty Losey, he really was over there, but and he said I was over. They had a look back and forth about that. Yeah, man, little bro, little bro from McKenneville. And, McKenneville. Uh, and um, at that point of time, we uh we had started doing work with Toon. Okay, Toon. Shout out Toon. Yeah, yeah I, I've seen him. He been doing his round. Maybe one day we we'll get him down here to Texas. Oh yeah, man, that's the OG, man. Okay, so what happened with with, with Toon? Like this, the beat making nigga, right? Yes, yes. So the the, the nigga makes beats and 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 be on it. Like yes. he got a real good name with him and Ti. Him and Ti had some real uh, uh, big, big flamboyant hits. moments. Now yeah. I'm I'm gonna change the language <laughs> up a little yeah. bit, but but they had some some nigga we hear moments. Yes. You know what I'm saying? They came hard and yes. and and. and and you you didn't he wasn't that nigga though when you met him. Uh meaning like in your mind he was just a cat you were going to the thing with or you thought he was big big. No, I thought he was big. big. Okay, let's I talk about he, that. I thought he was bigger than life because at the time, uh Be Easy, all those jams, they 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 having good success. Boy, that nigga Till had some hits, dude. Yeah. I had a nigga to tell me I had a nigga around me to be on this I'm not gonna go there, but <laughs> acting like this nigga was a young TI. I'm not gonna say no name, but you know who I'm talking to. Yeah. You. Nigga, that nigga is not doing, yeah, you wrong for that, but he good, but that nigga. <laughs> but so, so you see the, uh, did you get to meet uh, T.I. during them times when this was going on or no? Uh, no, I mean, we we seen each other during passing, but we never actually spoke. Spoke or nothing. Yeah. So Toom was, uh, do you and this, you and Toom, y'all still know each other? Yes. And okay, so when 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 you and you and Toom doing y'all thing, 
What did y'all, what, what, what was something that stuck out about the way that he done? Because you done seen a lot of niggas doing music now. Yes. What sticks out to you about the way he done uh, uh, his process to doing the the, the, the beats and, and being in the studio? Man, his process was so crazy because his work ethic was like no other. Like, I, we would be in there all day. Bruh, uh, yes, we would be in there all day. Like, we, Toomp would come get us at 8, 9 in the morning. We go with him. And he had a he had a setup to where he had a keyboard and an MP here, he had an MP here, and then he had like two three keyboards here, and he would just sit in the middle of all three of those sections smoking and making beats. He'd be making one beat here, turn, make another beat here, but he got a different joint or blunt at each section, so he'll turn, put that blunt down, turn, make. Making another beat here, smoking a joint, boom, 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 put that down, turn this way, making a whole nother track over here, and then smoking a whole nother joint. <laughs> Nigga, on but, it. But he doing that right there within the hour, and he and that's all day, all day, all day. And by the time we leave, he done pumped out shit, nine, ten beats. So, so our thought process was, we got to catch up. Toom, <laughs> when you think about Toom, that's, was this during the flip? Beef thing when the I'm uh any of that music uh, it uh was, motivation and it was a little, ASAP did he get yes, he he played part little, in that yes you know I'm in Texas before, so I'm catching feelings yeah. right now you know <laughs> flip this one flip well, you know what I'm saying this thing was serious yes. you know back in the days it was a, it was a little before it was a little before but during that but time, during too yeah, right there yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I thought it's mixed yeah. in real good yeah. that nigga Tip was on it man yeah cause and, man I remember going to the birthday bash that year. And we had already been dealing to, with Tip for like a year. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? We was like a year in working together. And uh, T.I. made a statement about Flip. And you Damn. know, Flip the homie. Flip, that's my dog. Love what, him. You, you knew him then? Uh, uh, I didn't know Flip then. Okay, didn't but what did, what did he say? What did he say? It's over now. He said he said some shit about the king of the south. Like Oh, he, uh, he was Flip, upset a little yeah, bit. He called himself the king of the south. Come holler at the real king. But it was so much. I mean, I kind of I paid attention to it. And I was a fan of Flip at this time. But... It kind of bypassed me because it was so much going on oh, that year yeah. at Birthday Bash. Like, Pastor Troy was into it with Sammy Sam. Yeah, shit. yeah, 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 yeah. It was just a lot going on, man. Them niggas was out there crazy. Like, this nigga, Pastor Troy, flew a blimp over that motherfucker. Damn. Saying, oh, fuck Sammy Sam. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> niggas was really beefing. Niggas was, yeah. Getting it to that, it. Yeah, it was that type of situation, that type of Wow, vibe, man. man. So it was, you know. Different time. Yes. Yes, Nine definitely. niggas killing each other. That part. But that then part. Back, back then you could beef and it wasn't just, you, wasn't wasn't just gonna, you was just going to get killed that yeah, day. Yeah, you weren't going to get killed, man. They were, If anything, they were going to do some punching and leave it at that, you know. Yeah, the game didn't change. Yeah, it totally, totally. So when you think about, go ahead, go ahead. Did you have anything? No, not about I'm music. I'm going in go on this music. Uh, when you think about just the fact of you uh, being in Atlanta during that time, when did you end up coming back to Dallas. Uh, I stayed in Atlanta, uh, what, maybe a year and a half, two years. year and a half. Yeah, came back to uh, Dallas. It was 2003. Okay, yes. okay. Came back 2003. to 2003. 2003, that's when, you know, that's when, you know. Mm -hmm. you, no, you act like you upset about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that's when it was going down in 2003. That was pre the kids. It wasn't no kids then. Mm -hmm. No, it was just me and her. Oh, yeah. That was that was it. Two thousand and three. I remember that year. So when when you was when you came through there in two thousand and three. Okay, how long? How old was you at that time? You uh, at that time I was about sixteen, 16, 16 17. seventeen. Yeah. And now you go back to North Dallas. Yes. Right. You and your daddy Dallas. fell out, didn't you? Yeah. The nigga was tripping. Yeah, choke me up, beat me up. The nigga choke you. I let my <laughs> son go. I took my boy down there and dropped him off in a cannon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we fell out the same way. Yeah. I uh, had to whoop him up, took yeah. him down there, dropped him off, told the nigga, look here, man. I'm uh -huh. done with it. You, you're going to be respectful. <laughs> We didn't we we didn't we we didn't stay away from each other long. Dude. Yeah, that's me, my, me and him man. neither. That's my that's my boy right there. Yeah, me and him. But neither, that's a man. part of it, man. Yeah, it was just a growing process. I, I felt like we had to go through that to get you know to where yeah. we are today. Respect. Yeah. So when you got when you got back and and you, you get here and now you had that group down there, how hard was it to reformat and get back situated here in the Dallas market? Uh, it, it honestly it wasn't that hard, but like I said, uh, R.P. My nigga, mine he died. Two months of me moving back. Oh, okay. So you was mentally going through. Yeah. Some stuff. So mentally, yeah, I was kind of, you know, I, I was lost, and it was showing within school now. So uh, I ended up 
they ended up kicking me out at the school I was going to at Lake Highlands. Uh, ended up getting kicked out of there. Then I started going to this uh, charter school here, Evolution. Okay. okay. And that's where uh, I met my partner, Lil C, now, and uh, they introduced me to the Rally Boys. Yeah, the Rally Boys. They, they had a hell of a run. Yes, yes. So, so when you think about the, the, the wave back then, uh, it was it was different, man. You know, you you talking about a time when nigga, the screw music was up. I, yes. I heard you in a, in, in, the, in the super tight interview because I watched it because I'm big. I'm a big bo. Me and Bobo ride, but ride oh, yeah. or die, nigga. Oh, yeah. PMC got us connected like hell. Oh yeah. But anyway, when when I see you, you talking about you and that nigga talking. About, I wish I was in the room. <laughs> nigga, I'm talking about it was gangster music era. Nah, no, nigga, banging that screw too, nigga. Nigga, but banging the hell out that screw. Yeah. See, am I right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that screw still, music yeah. was screw, real. Screw. Yeah, yeah, real it was big. different than everybody else's too. Nigga had gangster music, but that screw music selling double CDs and all that. One CD was screw, one CD was regular. Was regular yeah. Nigga, listen, man, this was the era we was in too. Yes. Am I right? Yes, sir. So this was a time when y'all niggas was y'all was double dibbing. You know, a nigga might screw a uh, screw that in my dug it. Doom, doom, uh -huh. doom. Yeah. <laughs> you, know I mean? you ain't lied though. You ain't lied. Them so, boy, them boy were dropping the regular disc, then they dropped the purple one. I was mad when they took that away. I was I blamed that on Flip too. Cause he, you know, he got focused over there on TI. Shouldn't even been worried about that nigga. Yeah. Let that nigga do what he doing, stay doing what you doing. That's the way I felt about yeah, it. Yeah. And he didn't yeah. do that. I think he got more focused on what that nigga was doing and trying to figure out what. Nah, no. Stay focused on that screw, nigga. This Texas. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For <laughs> real though, I, I, I see that. You know, as you get older though, you you kind of see. Yeah. Just stay in your lane, man. That's don't worry it. About, you know. What's you got to do on Texas. Over there. We did. He did Texas. It, it wouldn't have changed nothing. Yeah, they bite out. They bite us anyway. Anyway, and I, I felt like you know when I see you, I think about uh, that that song. You know, my Dougie man. Uh, when you was doing that, my Dougie whole situation. I want to I want to say thank you first of all because that was hard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know you you the type of nigga man that came up with something that was it, it definitely wasn't newly done because a nigga paying homage to the predecessor uh, the person who was before him. Yes. You know, and it, it, I can't say it hadn't been done. It hadn't been done in that way. Yes. In a dance, and then this nigga a uh, Dougie is a. Uh, uh, is a pinnacle. Yes, he is a he is the when it come to beatboxing, he. Hey, the man only nigga that could rock with him was uh Biz, Biz, and one more the Fat Boys. You can't leave the Fat oh, yeah, Boys. The fat boy, Them boys yeah. was hard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But this nigga was doing something with his throat, making these clicking sounds. Yes, and right. how did you even home into Dougie like that? You a young nigga. Yeah, well, my mama was a big music fan, man. My mama listened to everything from Snoop Dogg to Anita Baker, you okay. know? So, I mean, it was it was evident that he would, you know, come across my palate, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I just, I was always astounded by, you know, just how he can do that shit. What? Be boxing and be able to, six minutes? Six minutes, six minutes, Dougie Fresh, you're on, uh, uh, on, uh, uh, on. And then you gotta, mm -hmm. see, a lot of people don't know that's him beatboxing that I shit. know. If you pay attention to my video, my Dougie, that's actually Dougie Fresh beatboxing in the front of the song. That's hard. Like, his actual beatbox is within the, li within the beat. Okay, <laughs> you niggas is something else because y'all took that and made his uh, anthem and then when you did it, his dancing was not exactly like y'all like dance, yes, nigga. Yes. He would do the, I knew his dance, because yeah, I'm older, really, nigga. Yeah. He was quick with it. Yeah. He didn't do it. Y'all niggas was, you know, doing it like that. But he just come across the circle. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, how, how did y'all come up with that dance? I know little Spain. I, I interviewed Spain. Uh... How did when you first seen the dance and the, how the dance got discovered? How did this thing happen? Man, we had a uh, it was this thing around. I, I know you, you you probably came across to the D Town Boogie. Yeah, of course. You know what? I we thought all, niggas was really gay at first yeah, when I seen yeah. that dance in the strip club. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm being real. I would yeah. get mad at them niggas because them niggas were you know what I'm saying they were yeah. they were doing their thing, but it was like these niggas filming them with, and we were gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was with the shoulders. So uh, I mean, I really just. I took that and just, you know, added the Dougie Fresh swoop to it and, you know, called it my Dougie. But we was gangster, but when you think about it, 
you look at how you look at how the the Dougie, you know, and the and the D Town Boogie, they it, made it a made, nigga, they made, made a nigga respect party. that. Yeah. And then I noticed them niggas that were doing it. These niggas really would. The uh, yeah. Who's this? My partner. The okay. Pastor, homie, homie. All right. He moving the kids around. I started saying, <laughs> what nigga coming in here gonna just move the kids around? He ain't supposed to be in here moving nobody kids around. <laughs> yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now you see why I stopped. Yeah, like, what yeah. the hell going on? Yeah, this, yeah. you know. Yeah. Hey, look, them boys there, they ain't gonna let him. Oh, okay. Let, I was trying to figure him. out what the hell going on over there. You know I was, don't you? I already figured it out. You yeah. did? Yeah, oh, you should have told old boy something. He's a little bit behind. Yeah, so, they. when you think about it, let's get back into it. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I just no had problem. to check everything out, make yes, sure sir. everything good so I can talk my talk. Yes, sir. So, so when you first, so, so here we go. Let's go back in. You basically uh, say y'all put the swoop to it. Yes. And But y'all mixed it with that, with the, that boogie. Yeah. I remember that man, I remember going to the club and first seeing that it messed my head up. The D Town Boogie, yeah. the way nigga was doing, we was not doing that, bruh. Yeah. Yeah. We was really we done got real hard, nigga. The nineties that chronic came out, nigga was shooting nigga, smoking chronic yes. and, and we was really just kicking it. It was yeah. not doing it like that. See that and that that was uh, I don't know if Spain broke it down, but that was really our narrative. You know, cause we from how we grew up, man, and the things that we was into it was our gangster. We we didn't have to paint that facade or paint not even the facade. Paint that picture to the people to make it you know to try to make some mouth of it. We wanted to have fun, have a good time, man. Because outside of that, outside of the entertainment, we really was living that life. We was going back over there, dealing with Jizz No Rally and going to the South and dealing with Cottonmouth Jesse. You know what I'm saying? Smurf Franklin them. All them boy, they you know really in the streets. We really in the streets with these guys, man. Yeah. We all in we in the funk with Big Ben. Okay. And, you know we doing interacting in street activities. So when we doing this music, we wanted to make it fun. We wanted it wanted to, it was an escape for us. We are wow. not trying to go and be rapping about shoot them up, bang bang, kill kill, and then when we get out of town and all that, we looking over our back again because of the music that we make. You know what I'm saying? I got to go back because I, I done moved forward real fast and got to have a good time. You you had a song that you don't think many niggas know about, Bitch, I'm Known the Ball. Yeah. <laughs> this, was, <laughs> this was something you did with uh, uh, Rook. Yes. Zeke told me about it. That's the only reason I know about it. He say, ask that nigga about Bitch, I'm Known the Ball. Yeah. You know, he said he did that over at my spot. Uh -huh. Is this true or? Yes, that's, that's actual factual. What, how did you even know Zeke? Cause I got it, I got it, that's my people. So Zeke but, TV, I gotta shout you out right now. Yeah. How did you, how did you even know, even know the link in with, he was in the North cause yeah. uh, he that's why they was, was at. Now his, he, uh, Zeke actually lived under, his apartment was under my mom's apartment. Okay. And it was right in front of the little stoop where we used to hustle at. How old was you at the time? I was like, 15, 16, I was fresh back from Atlanta. So yeah, I was about 15, 16. 15, 16 years old? Yes, fresh And back so that Atlanta. when you first came back? Yes, when I first came back. So how did you meet Rook? I never met Rook a day in my life. Uh, I went to school. But my, 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 but my cousin say, yes. Lil Will and Rook, they used to come rap in my house. Yes, yes, yes. I'm yes. like, what the hell, how they rap? Rook rap? I thought yes. the nigga was over there at the street, uh, what is the real, real life yeah. thing. And he's like, nah, that nigga rapped in my house. Yes. Yes. I was like, damn, so he's like, they used to come over there all the time. Yes, me. See, I went to school with Rook. Man, I went to school with all them boys. All them over there in real life. Jeff. Really? Uh, yeah, Fast Money. I went to school with all them cats. So uh, Rook was actually the first person out of all of us to ever actually put out an actual CD. Okay. Barcoded, scanned, uh, BD. I mean, every, he was the actual first person to ever do that wow. around us. So, yeah, that was a definite. But... Uh, on the note with Zeke, I used to she be posting in front of Zeke's house, you know, doing my thing, hustling. Yeah, that, that's what we all did. Yeah, so that's how me and bro, you know, kind of got Linked intertwined. Up. And yeah, he let us know he had a studio there. And uh, we that stayed. wasn't his first one. Yeah, we stayed following through his crib though. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, jams. I just tripped out because that was so early on. Yes. That was before any of this stuff even broke loose. You, would you ever thought you'd have ended up where you at right now doing that? No. Well, why the hell was you doing it, Lil' I, Will? I was, because the passion, I just love music. Okay. But I didn't think, I never thought it'd be to where it, it has been. You know, to the pinnacles that I reach, it, you know, it'd be so out of sight that to where you'd think, man, never. Wow. 
So you basically now, you done, everybody known you throughout the world. My daughter was doing the Dougie this morning when I put your, I was, in a, you know, reviewing what I'm going to ask you or yeah. what I'm saying. I'm going to interview this nigga today. She say, really, Dad? I say, yeah. She young. Yeah. She ain't but uh, 17. Yes. But she say my daughter, who is older, that's yeah. who influenced her to understand how to uh, yeah. dug in all that. Okay. So yeah. when I put that hoe on, she went to hitting that hoe. Yes. Right in the kitchen. Am I right, babe? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> she hit that hoe this morning. Hey. She looked like her. They would. She was getting to it. Hey, and she had up. just woke up, and mm-hmm. <laughs> I said, "Hit that dug in it." Yeah. She hit that up. We were yeah. asking how she know about it because she's so young. You yes. know, she's like, "Yeah, my upperclassmen taught me how to do it." Yeah. Okay. So okay. that's hard, right? Yeah, like man, you, you're a household name, man. Yes, man. I love it, man. It, it seems like nowadays it's starting to grow back legs of its own because it didn't went back viral on TikTok. That's what I was about to say. That's hard, man. Yeah. Ain't that funny how things yeah. can come back around? Yeah, TikTok yes. make everything come back around. Yes. Wow. So uh, getting back to the just just going back into the the deal with you in uh, Spain and how y'all was linked up and and how the the dance came. It seems as if both of them came together. Yes. How did you and him even come together to even be doing the dance and the song? And I believe it was to me more closely knitted than even you guys realized. Yes. Just the fact yeah. of being, you know what I'm saying, both of y'all being so into it at the time. Yeah, see the homie, uh, the homie Rude Boy. Yeah, had, shout out Rude. Uh, yeah, Rude called me and was like, uh, well, he didn't even call me, bro, because all of us was living together at this time. Okay. Me, Rude Boy, Spain, and DJ y'all Q. Y'all living together? Yeah, we okay. were living together. We had, a, uh, we actually had, we had a uh, condo on MacArthur in Irving. And uh, Rude come to me, that's, uh, and was like, bro, we need a uh, we need a club jam, man. I know, you know, we on this hard rapping shit with Big Ben, and they had uh, we was just starting Young Rally. Was well, Rude as passionate as he is today? Because he a passionate dude. Yes, he's always same old like passion. That. I always been like that. Yeah. How always. did you meet Rude? Uh, through Gizno, through Rally. That's okay. hard. Yeah, we both we both was young at the time. I think I was fifteen, sixteen. Rude was nineteen, twenty years old. You know we. I always was up there because Rude did uh, reggae music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah, he did, you know my wife yeah, Jamaica. Yeah. So they, mm-hmm. turn, yeah, he came over here. He didn't sound reggae to me, and then <laughs> reggae and shit. Oh, he will flip it. He turn it yeah, on and off. Yeah, he'll she do that too. Yeah, he'll turn it on and off quick on you. But that's the type of music he was doing. So we was linked at the time, and uh, Cotton and Jizz was starting Young Rally. Okay, with me and Pig and them. So uh, Pig ended up catching his time. So that situation kind of. You know, died down, free the homie P. Man. So, uh, so he's still locked up. Yeah, 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 still. He, is he coming home? Uh, man, he got a, He still got a little stint. How Damn. much time did he get? Uh, I think they gave bro like thirty something years. Man. You know, that's something I wanted to talk to you about too. But at any rate, I want to get back to this dance craze. How yes. how you and him basically yeah. keep going? Yes, yes. So, uh, uh, Rude come at me, ask me about it, and um, I sit down. I'm smoking. I'm going through these beats that I didn't got from DJ Q, and uh, I'm watching Paid in Full at the same time though. Uh, the part with Cameron come across the screen. I hit it with the Dougie, da, da, da. boom, that's it. I write the song. I uh, call Spain upstairs. Spain, come here, man, nigga. Look, when you uh, go to the club tonight, because he was clubbing every night. The nigga, he was already going viral back then, bro. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah, going heard, viral. Yeah. He was going viral around the same time as Soldier Boy. Wow, so he was like going to get to it. Yes, cause, and he was just dancing. Yeah, with the white glasses. Yeah, up. he'll just show up to the club, jump on the stage, and dance. Somebody recorded, he'll come home, post their shit, and three, four thousand views the next day. Wow, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? He was going viral back then, so I'm like, nigga, when you go to the club tonight, Q gonna play this song, I want you to do this with the dance, too. And da, 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 da. Oh, you showed it to him? Yeah, and he was like, bitch. He went to the club that night. He did it. They came back with the video. We posted that motherfucker and did like, I'm, I'm no, no bullshit. Like a hundred thousand views within a month, and wow, that was that's crazy a lot back, back then. then. Yeah, that was crazy back then. We like, oh shit, like we got some. And yes. that was on Facebook, right? That wasn't even. That's what that was directly to YouTube. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, like and and Facebook. We wouldn't even own a Facebook then. We were still on MySpace. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So when it happened, you knew y'all had something. Then you, and I heard the story because me and him talked about the Soldier Boy uh, meeting, uh, linking with Soldier Boy. Yeah, um, you guys had something special. Soldier Boy seen it. I thought Soldier Boy came down here to take it. He did. 
Did he come down here and then go no. back and try to do it? Or he just seen it from on the he internet? Just, he seen it. And he tried to do it. And tried to, yeah. And it wasn't, was he doing it? No. But he, he had a video up where he was trying to do yeah, it. Yeah, trying to do it. He had yeah. already did that. You, he thought he could take this. He was trying to do it. He put a video up of him in the living room. He was doing some crazy shit. He had a mask on. He had a, a different type of song that kind of sounded like it. So we automatically attacked. Like, nigga, you got to come down to Dallas. You finna have to see us. Ain't none of that going on. We He actually came down. Did he uh, text? Did he, did he text? Did he call y'all at that time? Well, no, he didn't. He ceased and desist. He ceased and desist the song that he did. Okay. Uh, that was kind of like Dougie or whatever. He took that down. That's did all that. Then he reached out and called us. And at the time, I still was on the, uh, I was on the run. Damn. So I couldn't, <laughs> so I couldn't do nothing. But Spain flew out to uh, Cali, uh, met with him. Soldier Boy did a verse for my Dougie. You know what I'm saying? Spain taught him how to actually do the dance. They recorded it. They linked up. Boom, bam. It was all good. Spain and Rue flew back. And how did you I feel did. about that though when, when Spain went out there and he corrected that you felt good like this is yeah. this hard yeah. the nigga doing right by yeah. us then yeah. when he come down he showed some mad love to you yes yes showed mad love took what us, did he uh, do took us on the uh, up close and personal tour wow with uh, Chris Brown how, yeah. how much y'all make uh, tell the truth I, shit, I can't you even remember him. get that money up <laughs> so he took y'all on the tour and stuff like that including yourself right yes. but you said you were on the run so you wasn't yes. on the run no more no I still was on the run I just uh, running to that show yeah I was running to the bag you know we was driving in anyway so you know I was just I was that's testing why my I was luck. like that's why I was like when they flew up there I'm like why you didn't just drive yeah nah cause it, 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 the time way, difference yeah going to long, driving mm -hmm. to Cali that's it's a, a day, day and a half you know mm -hmm. So when you when y'all did this, uh, they come back. Everybody kicking it. Everything good. All is good. Y'all do. Y'all already did the video with with Dougie at this time because he came down here and yes. he was all over at Big T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had him at Big T. He was at Big T out there on top of cars, standing on the slab. Yeah. I said this nigga on top of cars at Big T. I remember that. Yeah. I said how the hell? But they got going. These niggas turn. They, you know, I was over at Big T going down the. Uh, 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 the Glendale Park, yeah, coming back yeah. up there on Sundays and yeah. rolling back by the racetrack. Yes, you remember sir. how yes, we used sir. to do it? Yeah. What day was that y'all did that video on? Was that a weekday or weekend? Uh, it was a it was a weekend. I, I know for sure because the club was popping that night. Okay. Uh, uh, Rhythm City, that uh, old Corey, Corey from Clout. I, okay, talk to me about Dougie and how he even how how fresh found out about y'all. And everything. Let's talk about that. Man, it was real crazy because uh, one day I just get a call from a New York number. I'm like, what the hell? I answer it. And it's uh, one of Dougie Fresh's sons. Okay, that's hard. How old this nigga is at the time calling uh, people? At the time, he was 19, 20 years old. He okay, was he to, old enough. Yeah, yeah, he was old. He was around our age. He yeah. was uh, going to college uh, in Atlanta. And he was like, yeah, man, I go to school in Atlanta, man. We came across your song, man. It's hard, man. Uh, I sent it to my pops. My pops want to uh, work with y'all. And I'm on the phone like, man, this nigga bullshit. Look at Fresh, I ain't here, daddy. I'm, All right, bro. Yeah, cap. yeah, go on, do it, man. We ain't no cap but back then. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. I'm like, man, this nigga full of shit. I ain't feeling Yeah, that. I got All it. All right, bro. Yeah, bet. So he say, okay. So the next day, Dougie Fresh himself called me. Fuck me up. <laughs> What you say when this nigga call you? Oh shit, I'm losing my mind. I'm like, like say, what's up, Doug? What's what? up? This the really hey, Dougie Fresh. Really Dougie Fresh. Look, man, if that's the play, whatever you need, man, how much, however much you finna charge us, whatever, whatever we got it, we finna take care of it. He like, I don't want no money. That's hard. Just look out. You know, I'm, he said. Matter of fact, his exact words was, "I appreciate you for doing what you're doing. These young kids don't know about me. You put me back in the light in their eyes. That's hard. I say, bit. So we set up the video. We pay for his ticket. Him and his son, both his sons. We pay for their plane tickets, play for their hotels, you know, food, all this shit. Okay. So you, once you get the ticket, uh, or once y'all get the ticket, did you fly him first class or, or, or you put him in regular seats, nigga? Oh, yeah, we definitely put him first class. Y'all had to. Yeah. That gotcha. nigga ain't used to going no and, other way. And, and he didn't charge us nothing. Real so, talk. That's hard because yeah. most these niggas charging today. You can't get yeah. niggas to do nothing. You can't for free. nothing for free. These man. niggas so, is really not trying to help nobody. Hey, it was our love, so we we had to look out. We flew him and the boy. You know, flew them down, put them in a nice, great hotel. Yeah, and uh, we went to work. 
But it was so my only thing was my mama was more happy to see him than me. I had mama stop. Hey, calm down. She was fanning out. Yeah. Fanning out. <laughs> That's what little Snoop mama told me the other night. She was like, Yeah, when he said he was up there with Meek Mills, they mentioned T.I. She forgot all about Meek Mill. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga tip up there. That's your damn daddy. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so, so what did she say when she first seen Dougie, man? She was Dougie trying to take friends. pictures and you know, and at this time I had already uh I had already built a little name within the city. I'm, I had the number one song on K one hundred four and ninety seven nine. So they were playing your music. Yeah, so That's they hard. was giving me free tickets. I'm giving them to her. She in backstage at the Jagged Edge concert. Kicking it. She meet not leave people. She didn't react like this to none of these people. But the Dougie, Dougie Fresh. Fresh. <laughs> I said, Hey man, get over here. <laughs> hey, you stand over here, man. Matter wow. of fact, hey y'all, get I got the homie them. Hey man, make sure she over here with y'all, man. So how did y'all y'all stage it? Y'all told him, man, just however you want to do it. You can't tell the God, right? Yeah, here. yeah. It was whatever, whatever you want to do, dance whatever, do whatever. Yeah, whatever, whatever you want to do, however you do it. And he was like, uh, cause we put the little homie, man, R.I.P. Baby D. R.I.P. Baby D, man. Yeah, yeah, the little homie, we put him on top of the car and had him up there dancing. And Doug was like, I get up there with him. Oh, and I was like, bet. So, yeah. <laughs> shit, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? And Kicking. He got on top of the car and he did his dance too with Baby D. That's hard. Baby D now passed away. Yes, yes, yes. That's man, hard. That was, he got to do something. Yes, yes. That was with the Dougie young cat that got shot in the head in Deep Ellum, man. Wow. Yeah. Man, oh, so, Baby D, man. yeah, it's a lot of our boys going on, way, going on past. We all got to get out of here one day. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. God is the uh, author and finish of my fate. So, just gonna keep it there. Yes, sir. But so when you when you, once y'all get him down here, what else did y'all do? Did you take him out that night or anything? Or did he go? I see he older at this uh, time too now. Yes. But it, did he want to go hang out uh, anywhere? Nah, cause after after Big T, we went and shot the uh the scene at Rhythm City. Okay. Okay. And the scene from Rhythm City just ended out the night because the club we shot during the day, but the club actually opened that night when we got through shooting. Okay. And we already had that motherfucker packed. Yeah. Like, see, I just was chilling. So we just. You know, let them open the doors, get whatever amount of people they could, few people that they could get in from that, what we already had in there, and we just kept on. So keeping. when y'all go out, y'all send them back out, uh, back home, the song's done, the video come out. Does the communication stop at that point? No, no. You and him yeah. still start, yes. still yes. keep. He, uh, we, we link up. We do uh, the Battle of the Bands tour. Okay. Yeah, me, him, Boosie. That's hard. Uh, Soldier Boy and Pleasure. This team. young Boosie. Yeah. Yeah. This before jail boosie. Yeah, this before jail boosie. How was before jail boosie? Uh, on this tour, live wire, live as hell, live wire. He always was live. He still live. live. I seen nigga on that picture when he was in Vegas. Yeah. He ain't. He still boosie. Yeah. So how was it like? Like, did y'all talk and hang out during that time, or you who, just see him while he was doing me and boosie? You and boosie? Oh no, we kicked it tough. Hard. Oh, we kicked it tough. I like that's, that. That's man. how I got jammed up in Baton Rouge. Trying to go to his house. Coming from his house. Well, trying to go. I was oh. leaving leaving my hotel. We had a show at Gremlin that day. So I was leaving my hotel to go to his crib. He was having a party that night. And uh, I never made it. Damn. So they rolled my ass on 10. Took me to East Baton Rouge Perry, uh, Prison. How, how long you had to stay in? Uh, I had to stay there a month. Damn. Off the muscle because they said I was a flight risk. And I you didn't. had my Dougie? Yeah, and Bust It Open. Bust It Open was just... It was uh, circulating within the radio unit. What little Spain say when you locked up like that? Uh, shit, they was trying to get me home. <laughs> they been trying to help you to come yeah. home. You they like, was trying to get me. To, got locked they up. got locked up, man. They was trying to get me to come home, so they was doing little things that they could do, you know, uh, show here, show there, whatever, whatever. But it just was nothing that could get me home because at the time I had the money. Yeah, you know, it was uh, shit. They just told me I was a flight risk. So I ended up sitting there a month, and they finally told me, like, uh, well, if you pay a cash bond, we're going to release you. So I paid the $20,000 cash bond and uh, ended up going to court there for maybe, what, a year and a half? I have to fly from here, fly to Baton yeah, Rouge, yeah. go to court and shit. Do you and think they knew you was a, since you was a known rapper, they was trying to hold you? Uh, of course. When they wrote, they, wrote, they wrote all three cars, and the only thing they said was, which one of y'all will? What? They wrote all three cars, man. Spain was with me. That's what I was wondering, because yeah. I'm like, y'all didn't move together? Yes, Spain was with me. They, they were wrote, there. They pulled over but all three of our they cars. they didn't get him? Uh-uh. They just wanted me. They was like, which one of y'all will? Okay, come on. Damn. And, and you know, this is the state of Texas, man, so we ain't riding dumb. All the guns we have is registered to a person 
that's within the vicinity. You know what I'm saying? Like, are y'all in Baton Rouge at that time? Yeah, we was in Baton so, Rouge. So they ain't going. They, they ain't going for it. Exactly. That's what I tell them, and they tell me, "Uh, we make our own laws out here, boy." Yeah. So what was the charges? Put me in the back seat. Uh, possession of a firearm. Even all of they were all registered. Yeah, they was all registered in other people's names. Other people. It was other people's guns. And they were there. Yeah, they were there, right there. So how did you, you end up getting it through out? Uh, no, they what? ended up. They ended up banning me from uh, Baton Rouge until 2019, and they kept my twenty thousand dollars. Hold on. Damn. So the lawyer that you had, did you get a lawyer from down there, or you got I a lawyer to. from here? Yeah, I had to, I had to get a lawyer that? from down. Yeah. Yeah. So had, you screwed yeah, regardless. Yeah, I was. It was they don't play the game. Down yeah, there. they knew what they were doing. From he lucky jump. he didn't go to prison. That part. Once once they told me I wasn't going to prison, I I really didn't. You care. won. Yeah. Yeah, I can keep the money, and I I never have to come back here. So was they able to put a felony on you or anything? They just basically told you nah, don't come just back. Basically, yeah, don't come back. Basically, they wanted that money. Yeah, that was the whole game. Yeah, they wanted the money, and that's the way the game go. Yeah. So I I think I, over the whole case, it probably cost me like thirty thousand. Yeah. The twenty they took and the ten given to the lawyer. Yeah. About thirty thousand dollars. They wanted the money. Yeah. The funny thing is that what I think about when you say all of that is that I see a lot of these young kids. They want to be you. They want to be popular, they want to be celebrities, but being a black kid and being a celebrity, it also puts a target, a target on, on you. you, yes. You know what I mean? And people don't realize that all of that comes with Yes, you're definitely a target. And, and, and the crazy part is, see, with us, we, we become not just a target to them, we become a target to our own people too. Right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Because we look in the park, we looking good, we driving, you know, driving nice, nice cars. cars and you know, we doing all the listen, we looking like a lick, not knowing that this same white boy, probably my age, the watch on his wrist is worth more than everything I got on. Right. I just don't know that. But wow. then you knowing all of this now, if your kids came to you and say they want to be a rapper, they want to come in the game, how would you advise them? Uh to I would advise them to take take the scenic route. Take take the the J Coles and the Kendricks, you know. Take that route because once you get involved and become a, you know, it, this this fame is addicting. So once you become addicted to all of this and want all the jewelry and all of this and all that, you make yourself a target for everybody, not only in our eyes but in, also in the police eyes because they look at us different. If I show up like this compared to showing up in a suit and tie, I'm looking different. I got to ask him about that. I got to go back into it. You was at the concert. I mean, you was doing the tour with Dougie Fresh. Yeah. And did it end with that? Or this y'all got to do the whole tour? Uh, Yeah, no, we did the whole tour. Cool. Yeah, we did that whole Bad Little Bands tour. The last uh, time you talked to Dougie Fresh? Uh, It's been some years now. Now? Yeah, it's been some years you now. Reach the last, time I, uh, last time I talked to him, we was in uh, New Orleans together. Yeah. We did a show together at the uh, Harris Casino. Got to reach out to Dougie Fresh. Man. Yes, that's a y'all got something different going on than yeah. most people could ever have together. Yes, that's you got different. to be a part of his legacy. Do you and perform that song all the time, right? Yes. Uh, when you perform it, does Spain um, dance too? Yes. So y'all be together all the time still, even yeah. today. Yes. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now that he back home, yeah, we, okay. we right I want to talk about. I, I want to talk about when you changed. Cause it it was came out on the show. Yeah, you gonna have to tell me about oh, this. Yeah. You got to act real different because fame, like you said a while ago, I just heard you say it. Fame changes things. Yeah, it, but, it, it make you hungry for it. What was the deal that made you kind of? How did you in Spain even get sideways enough to even? Because really, when you look at your deal and what happened in Dallas. Do you feel like, and we're going to get back to the Spain, but do you feel like you're doing and have done what that's supposed to have done for your career? No. Why did it not? I feel like it's a lot more. Because, see, a lot of people don't know the intertwines of uh, our deal. It was a a clause that ended up, that we thought at the time was good, but it it really ended up fucking us. Really? Yes. We had a clause in our contract to where. Who? uh, What the clause in our debt? We did. What was the big label? We uh uh Asylum Warner Brothers. Asylum Warner Brothers. Yes. And you didn't see the the clause when no, you first we did. signed it. We did. We they did. put the clause in there. Listen, this and this was the clause that they cannot open the books without all of us being present because you know me and Rude started Rude Boy, the label. So without me, Rude Boy, and they A and R, they cannot disclose the books. All of all three of us had to be present. So it fucked us because by them going to jail for that long time. 
they can't be present. So you they don't have to tell me shit until rude present. Even if it's over the phone, you could have made a call? No. They had to be physically there. Physically present. So here we go. So you guys... Where did the schism come? Where did the split come between you and Spain? Because Spain say you start acting different. Yes, and it wasn't, I'm not even going to deny that. I did, but we was on drugs a lot back then. Okay. And we was reckless. And I just actually, my changing came from actually seeing it. I seen the crash coming. I seen the 12, 15 years, you know, the brothers did 12 years. I seen that coming. How did you see it? They was acting. They were more aggressive toward doing things that would crash you out. It, yes, and, it and wasn't, that's the part that you see. Yeah, yes, that's what I seen. And it wasn't just they; it was us, because I was a part of that shit a lot of times. But how did you pull up? You said because you were acting different. Yes, I acted. I started. You knew to, that you didn't want to. You wasn't trying to go to prison. Exactly, man. I started to change my ways at the time. All that shit was going on. Uh, I still was fighting the case. Yeah, in Baton Rouge. They was on Boosie ass trying to, and all of us on Asylum now. They was trying, they was on Boosie ass trying to lock him up. They had just got Gucci. He on Asylum too. You know, I'm seeing it. I was seeing it. And then there was certain situations that was going on with us while we on the road to where, man, it ain't going to be too many times like this. Sometimes, one of these times, somebody going to get hurt and he's going to be one of them? us. Or I actually, no, I didn't. No, because he, he got to, he got to, because they don't stay know hard. They, because when they, they say you acting funny. They didn't know what you're thinking. If you had just even just said that, you know, they would. I don't think it would have changed anything. You don't think no. so? He'd have been. He'd have been looked at as uh, maybe I, one have. that was trying to go against him. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think it would have changed. So anything. when you yeah. went, what was the first thing where you had the disagreement to where y'all knew we not agreeing with each other? Uh, that was in uh, I believe like St. Louis, man. With something had happened in uh. I can't even remember what the fuck happened, bro. Cause we I was popping bars, sipping syrup, smoking a lot of weed. Uh something happened to where me and Rue had words. And I was like, man, you know what? This shit just this our bad. And then we I remember this one, we was instant in St. Louis. And uh we getting ready to go in the club. So uh Nelly and Murphy Leadin invited us to the club. Murphy Leadin uh did a verse on Bust It Open. They like come fuck with us. I'm like, bet. We go into the club, we get there, the promoter's like, uh, man, look, y'all good, everybody out, we good, because, man, we probably 15, 20 niggas deep. You know what I'm saying? All y'all good, just no guns in our club. Bit. Some of us put our guns up, some of us didn't. So we going through the club, getting searched and shit. One of the homies come through the door and drop a pistol right in front of the, bloom, 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 pistol fall on the ground. Behind him, as the other one getting searched, they pull a long ass clip out of his pants. Like, ah, nah, so we having those problems. And you it, know what I'm saying? He wasn't getting addressed, and you like, get, I don't want to look like this. Yes. We have a, uh, we shoot down to Galveston, I believe, uh, have a show down there. And um, one of the homies then did some shit, and the goddamn marshals end up popping up to the show with a goddamn mug shot of Rude. And they flashing them to everybody out there looking for rude over some shit one of the other homies then did. Wow. So, you know, my, my thought process was I like, try this to, ain't going to... It's going to be fast. bad. Yeah, it's going to be bad. It's going to end fast and bad. So when you... And, and, and you you giving me your spiel on it, but I'm just trying to figure out, like, when this happened, they go... They end up getting into some trouble with this soldier boy. Somebody connected to soldier boy, they told me on the show. Yeah. I don't know what that was. I, I'm trying to, we about to start releasing those. I, I wanted to interview you, I told you that. I wanted, cause it's gonna make sense for me when I do it together. I'll just be on some whole different level. I'm gonna make a jive, you yes, yes, <laughs> So yes. just the story is dope and it's our history. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So when y'all basically, once, once, once they get into it with this soldier boy situation, whoever this guy was, what was his name? It started with an H. Uh, hood. Hood. Yeah. When they get into a hood, where were you at in that situation? Uh, I was, see, me and them had already kind of like parted ways. Like I was I was doing my own thing. But we, you knew hood? Yes. But you yes. didn't fool with hood? I, I did. We was, I, I kind of, he still was the homie. Like, but I kind of, I always handled him at a distance. You didn't know because, that nigga like that? Yeah, I didn't know him like that. And plus I had problems with his people. But in a way. way. before then, yeah. 
before he ever had came around us. So I kind of yeah. always didn't trust that nigga. Yeah, and treated light, you know. Yeah, yeah, I treated yeah. light with the situation. So when that happened, I was somewhat, somewhat in the middle because you know I still was talking to the nigga and shit. You know, I see the nigga around with the whoop, but we just wasn't hanging and shit. You know. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't no none of that. Yeah. Like, he wasn't so, even, he wasn't yeah, even a cup so, of tea. Yeah, so when when that situation really did come about, I was, I kind of just backed up, washed my hands with the whole situation. Like, I want no shit, I want no parts of none of this shit. Had the books already been to where you couldn't get into a certain situation because y'all all had to be present and y'all was so disconnected that y'all couldn't come mm -hmm. together while they were out on the ground? Uh, No, no, because at that time we still wouldn't, we wouldn't, uh, we wasn't asking about them then. We wasn't concerned with them. I still was, well, doing I wasn't concerned shows. with them. I still was doing a lot of shows. Uh, I just was about to shoot the uh, Busted Open video. What was the show paying back then? You got to give me some prices yeah, on Back some. then, I was getting uh, like anywhere from nine to 15 grand a show. That's hard. That's hard today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was good money. Yeah, it was You good. were blowing it like hell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you were oh, blowing yeah. that money. Oh, yeah. yeah. You were kicking it. Yeah. Well, what would you do with yeah. that? You went straight on into the strip club or something. Per, yeah, kicking it. Like go give me a jug, a drink, jug, a drink. Real, yeah, some of that activist. Yeah, go give me a whole but jug. How was the label deal during that time? Right, like like were they paying you money as well? Uh, no, At, they wouldn't paying until I actually asked. I had to like fly to New York, ask them like, man, look, this happened. You had to go ask them for the money. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, man, look, I didn't did this, did that. I ain't seen nothing, and they cut a check. Boom, here. How much they give you? Like uh, forty bands. But they 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 were holding on to bread, was, using yeah. money for off of your situation. Off, yes, because you yes. was really not educated enough to understand I what the hell was going on yeah. with music. I didn't know anything at the time. Well, I mean, was this deal also with Spain? Them could they get a check at that time? Uh, and rule 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 did like. They signed Rude Boy Entertainment as a subsidiary to Asylum and Warner. Okay. So, yes. He if, could get a check so as when well. when it came down, yeah. So when it was bumped down, it'll go uh, Warner Brothers to Asylum to us, which is Rude, and then, you know, me. Wow, that's hard. That's hard. So when y'all, and when all this was going on, that had to be a difficult situation because a lot of times, like Sean Cotton say, you don't know nobody until they get money. Yeah. I'm being real. That's what he said on here. I was like, damn, that makes sense. Cause a nigga gonna be this way, but when the money come Yeah, it change it change it. Change things. Yes. Situations now niggas starting to act different. Everybody kinda acting different. You got mm -hmm. a reaction. Everybody amplifying who they are in this situation exactly. with the money. Exactly. Right? Exactly. So as you went okay. And that's good stuff, man. I'm just, I'm enjoying this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so y'all kicking it, though. I'm glad yeah. you get money, though. Yeah, we getting, we getting a lot of money, and we be kicking it. But at the same time, we got vultures around us. And a lot of laws. Laws got, is tripping. Yeah, yeah, we got laws, vultures, uh, snakes, all that shit around us. Wow. You know, we got, it's a nigga over here in my ear. Man, you know, rude them ain't really the, the, it's a nigga in their ear. Man, you know, Lil' Will's supposed to be blase, blase, it be good. And you know it's playing on both ends. It's making everybody disconnected. Yeah, it's making everybody. But in our actuality, we the only two motherfuckers. We the only motherfuckers getting. You know, me, Rue Spain. We the ones who really at this table eating a part of this cake. We just sharing it with the extra niggas around us. They didn't even all these miscellaneous that don't have to be. Wow, man, that's hard, man. But do you see that happening? Like with the people today as they go through their deals and change. It's yes. the same old two yes. step. Same, same old thing. It ain't changed. Same old thing, man. It, it, it never. It never, you know, and, and and that's why it's good to have, you know, uh, great great people around you, people with, who actually have a mind, you know, a thought process to save you from situations and things like that. You know, if you had I mean? to do all over again, what would you do different? Uh, I would do nothing different. It all be the same. It all be the same. Man. Cause that's just kind of way the cookie crumble. Yeah, the way to that's the way to hatch fall. Way, yeah, it, everything happens for a reason. Wow, that's oh, hard. Man, I, man. I like it though. I like it because you understand that's self awareness. Yeah, that's oh, all I'm doing. I'm tapping into yeah. self awareness right there. Yeah, that's it, man. So, top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Top number one, my, top three artists, dead or alive. Number one, any genre, any genre too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> number my, one, my number one would be Pop. 
Tupac. Yes. yes. Shout out to that boy Pop. Very, R. very R. influential cat. Number, Number two. two. Number two, Rick James. Come on, man. Rick James, man. You know him by cold <laughs> blooded. You know cold blooded. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. You hear man. that? Yeah. Yeah. that man, that was, hey. What's your favorite song with Rick James? Fire and Desire. Man. Hold and, up. And listen. And see a lot of people don't know this. I actually smoked a blunt with Tina Marie. You did? Mm. Yes. Yes. That's hard. Wow. Yes, man. Smoked a blunt with Tina Marie. How was Marie. that? Tell me how you end up smoking a blunt. We got to tell that story. She had uh she had just signed the cash money. Yeah, I remember that. I remember she that. She just signed the cash money and uh somehow me and her had a show together in Houston. Okay. So I'm out at the pool and shit and I'm smoking. And uh she was already out there laid out, I guess tanning. And she kind of sit up and was like, hey, can I hit that with you? <laughs> and I'm like, shit, bet. Hell yeah. So I give her the blunt. Did you know it was Tina Marie? Didn't know. Didn't know. I swear. <laughs> she had on sunglasses and shit with like a little, with a hat. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we sitting there smoking. We talking. She telling me, yeah, I got this show later. I'm still ain't putting this shit together. So we, boom, we finished the blunt. She was like, okay, well, I'm going to my room. And when she turned around, I see the big ass tattoo on her back with the Rick James in, inside of it. And I said, motherfucker, that's Tina Marie. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I stop her. Hey, hey, come on, take a picture with me. Da -da -da -da. And uh, the homie, I get a homie to... Uh, so you got a picture? Yeah, I get a homie that's on my phone dope. and shit, and he take a picture of us, man. And it was, I think that was maybe a year or two before she died. Where the wow. picture at, bro? I still have it. Send I that have, picture I, to me right I, now. I got it. I got it. Uh, bro, ooh, I'm I'm, you got to send that to me. That's hard. <laughs> I ain't going to lie, man. That's he hard. Pop it up. Oh, yeah, I got to, yes, man. That's man. all that history. That's the culture. That's why I love it so much because that's who we are. Yes. And man. we may not never get that moment back. It, uh, another one like that. That's priceless. Yes. But I that's, always tell people, I said, when you're around people, and it's not even just anybody who's a celebrity or whatever, but it's anybody at all, try to get some jewels from them. You know, try to talk so, so that. You can learn something from that person yes. because everybody have their own experiences that they've been through, and you can learn from other people. Yes. Did you did you ever meet Lil Wayne or Birdman or any of those guys? Uh, yes. What, where did you meet them at? In uh, in Houston through jazz. Okay, man, and I didn't even ask you about something, but I'm gonna ask you about yeah, that. How did that end up happening? Jazz set up the play. Uh, at the time, I think my Dougie was like the fucking number. I think I was like in the top ten at the time, and uh. Wayne was stupid buzzing with the lollipop jam. And uh, it was my album release. It was Bum birthday party, and he had Wayne performing. Well, me and Wayne performing. So uh, we Wait a did. minute, you said Bun's birthday party. Yeah, Bun B. And he had you and Wayne performing yeah, at me it. me and Lil that's Wayne hard. performing at it. And uh, I flew out there, and that's how I met them boys backstage and shit. What Which them boys had. talking about uh, back then? Back then, it was shit. They was proud. I'm proud of you. Stay at it. You know they uh through through uh Junior, they found out I was from New Orleans. So that was a lot of love too. That's hard. So that's 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 hard, man. Now we got to talk about. Hold this. on, before we jump into that, right. who's your number three? My number three. Yes. Uh, Sorry about that. CeeLo Green. CeeLo Green. Mm, why <laughs> that nigga say? Because. I mean, yeah, he can sing, but he's a That's hell of a rapper, man. That's our first He's a hell of a rapper. He's a hell of a rapper, man. Like, Why? if you if you pay attention to his Goody Mob days, hard. He was one of the hardest, hard coming out of Goody Mob, and the the dude is smart, man. Dude's smart as hell. Like, think about it. He got down, had this major career as CeeLo Green, and then he transformed himself to fucking Nars Barkley, and nobody ever knows the shit. For years, mm -hmm. nobody hard. knew he was Norris Barkley. That's hard. And he went on for making country music and all sorts of shit under this alias that no one knew that he he was a black man. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's hard. fucking that's crazy. That is insane. You know what I'm saying? And I, I can't do nothing but greet that. Sure I can't do nothing but yeah. I want to ask you. Uh, this here is one I couldn't let you get out of here without asking you this. You this is one of the things that irked the hell out of me. Uh, Cali Swag District. Oh yeah. When this happened, I was like, "What the hell just happened?" It was like they snatched the breath out of what we had done here and articulated in in the Dallas area. Yeah. Uh, how did you feel about teach me how to Dougie? Everybody loved it. Yeah. See, at the at the time, I was I was out for it. Okay. And and people, where was you at when you heard about it? 
Uh, did I they was, call you first? They called me. And asked you, could they do it? Yes. That's hard. They called me. They asked me to come down there, be in the video, all this shit. But, and my thought process was, shit, all the love Dougie Fresh showed me when I did my shit. I'm going to pay it forward. I'm going to pay it forward. So I'm like, bet. So they uh, they reach out to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, we're going to do the splits, woo, 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 all this. Come be in the video. They fly me to L.A., put me in a room in Hollywood and all this shit. I'm, I got a little scene in the video. I let, I let's good. They go to doing interviews now. Cause now it's getting up there, and they go to telling motherfuckers that they don't know where the uh, Dougie Dance came from. Oh, they switched it up. They, yeah, switched it up fast. Shit pissed me off. I call they OGs, cause I don't want to talk to them. Y'all ain't calling no call. Y'all ain't doing nothing. I call they the big homies. Fuck wrong with y'all, man. Like what they say? Yeah, we really uh, man. You know how the thing. You know how this game go, man. Man, miss me with that bullshit. You motherfuckers call my. I could have said no. And made it a legal action with you niggas. I I passed you niggas the bar, and now y'all don't know where it came. Spain them locked up at yeah, the time. Yeah, they was locked up at the time. Yeah, I bet and they tripping off of it. Yes, yes, they tripping off of it. Yes. They don't understand what the hell the what the hell is going on mm -hmm. out there. He done let them take the song. I can just hear a nigga because when you locked up, all kind of stuff all kind of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you get a letter from them niggas, or did they get word to you? Nigga oh, yeah. get word that to shit, you, niggas. Niggas called me, rude Ashbang. What they say? <laughs> Man, what's going on with the Kelly shit? I'm like, shit, I got it. And you know, it ended up taking, we ended up having to take legal actions. Did y'all end up getting what you needed oh, yeah, to get out yeah, of? Yeah, man. We got they had to just, take care of you. Yeah, we got our just do, man. All of us. Me, Spain, and Rude. That's hard. Rude. I like it. Now, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, man. That's they, the good part of the yeah, story. Yeah, they tried to pull some old slick shit, man. See, them niggas, them niggas, in, niggas in Kelly and up north and shit, they be thinking we slow down here in the mm -hmm, south. Mm -hmm. So they'll try to pull a quick one, not really knowing that we just talk and act like this. We really quick thinkers like y'all. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I didn't see them. Yeah. I've been doing up there for a long time. Oh, yeah, bro. I'm I'm fly. I, yeah, they, I can see through everything. Yeah, they they think like they glass real, houses. Yeah, nigga. They, they real cool and slick, man. We with that same shit all day. We just talk a little different. Very different. Yeah, and and you know that's that's kind of so, where it went. So did you did okay? So and I went up there. I was going to interview them, boy. But one of them, two of them passed away. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, two of them died. One from sickle cell. The other one got shot. Wow. See how and and so. Is a group is, is That group ain't even No it more It ain't even a group no more It's dismantled It's over with It was three of them Wasn't it Yeah And maybe Was it Lil Romeo it was, I mean uh, it was, Did 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 Lil Romeo didn't have Nothing to do with them uh, boys did, It was just them It was just I, I me and Watts Were talking this morning yeah. I think it was just Three of them boys mm -hmm. One was dark And the other one It was, it was three of them yeah, it was three of them. Man, and only one of them still lived. In. Yeah, that's crazy. Cause I went up there to interview them boys. Mm -hmm. I, and I was like, damn, really? I almost had the one. I'm probably still gonna get that. I'm gonna try to find that one. Yeah, I be trying to figure these stories out and try to make sure we paint this picture for our culture. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yes, Which sir. is hard. Um, I think that's it, man. Uh, shoot, man. I, like I said, uh, did we forget anything? Sin City Podcast. Uh, yes. Shout out to your podcast. Yes, yes, the Sin City Podcast, man. We popping. Okay. Uh, every Tuesday we live stream. That's hard. Yes, yes, and that's it's just another thing we doing for the city, man. You know, cause I I've been always all over the city, man. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, working with everybody. So that's that's one of the motives I'm I'm on right now, man. Trying to unite the city, cause when you got vultures out here, man, councils to to this thing, to our culture and this game that we in, man. You you got to have somebody looking out. Wow, man! I want to tell you, thank you so much for coming on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. We love you, bro. Yes, sir. I see your kids, man. Yes, sir. I see you a family, man. Yes, sir. What's this new? You got new music out too. I have oh, got yeah. you to change some stuff oh, yeah. up oh, now. Yeah. Let's oh, talk yeah. about that because I don't want you got niggas. You, you, I seen the video, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. what's going on yeah, with man, that? You know, uh, you done switched it up. Yeah, you know, I'm a uh, real one records man. I you want to just add to the yeah. legacy? Yes, yes, yes. I'm okay. a, you know, I just started a real one records. I got uh, the VBS Media Company. Where uh, That's we hard. got the studios in uh, in North Dallas. We got uh, actual media rooms. Goddamn barber shop hard. inside of there also. You know, man, we working. You know, I'm still rude boy though. Hey, I mean, not get it twisted, man. This is still rally rude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rally boy rude boy shit. You know, all day every day, them my brothers. I love them. Yeah, gonna always yeah. be like that. Good guys, man. Me and we, you know, we cut up when they first met me. They try to say I went off on them, but <laughs> you know, we went off on each other. Just some real niggas gonna do that. Yeah. It was like, nah, nigga, them niggas tripping, nah. But you know, 
but at the end of the day, we didn't know each other. It's yeah. a thing where you're going to be like, man, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And my son had linked us together. I, I'll never forget it. But I love they, I, Spain. Just as humble, man. I like yeah. Spain. I ain't saying Rude ain't. Rude going to get his point across. He's oh, yeah. passionate and aggressively passionate. Uh, Spain real humble, laid back. Love this dude, man. Yeah. I'm going over there at that chicken house, too. Probably today. I don't know. Oh, I might pull up today. Yeah, that's my yeah, boy. He been there. I ain't been over there in a long time now. Boy, I said about two or three months. I oh, see. You better call him. Uh, you know he that might line, be, be, that line be a fool, boy. You better call him. Tell him bring you something out the back. Already, man. Well, thank you, man. Uh, yes, how can sir. people get a hold of you if they're trying to link with you? Oh, uh, man. LilWill.com. L-I-L-W-I-L.com. That'll link you to all my social sites. Everything you need to see that's going on with me, man. Last question, man. Where was you at when you found out about Boss Talk 101? Where the bosses talk, nigga? Where we pulled up in this hole like a bomb was going to blow? Man, I was, <laughs> I was... Hold on, hold on. Because I, I meant to say something about this earlier. I was sitting at my house and somebody sent me uh sent me a clip saying, You seen what that nigga Rain said about you? <laughs> and I looked and I, I said, Oh, okay, yeah, I got a highlight Boss Talk. What do you talk. say? Uh, that me and Young Black try to take some money from him in Hawaii or something. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Come on, man. That's what a, that's a total lie, man. What Come on, brother. Rain? So you went to Hawaii? Yeah. Come on, What brother. happened, man? Man, that rainwater's <laughs> a goddamn lie, man. So man <laughs> look, this, this, was, this was my thing, Rain. If, if we tried to take some money from you, what was we finna do? Rob you? That's what you saying we were doing? You saying we were trying to rob you, right? You say me and Young Black try to rob you. Come on, man. Make this shit make sense. He didn't want to give us our back end. Okay. So I went to his room, ruffled him up, okay. and went through his shit and found our money that he hid in the trash can. Tell the truth, right? <laughs> Tell Good the truth, stuff. right? So I call Young Black. Matter of fact, I don't even need to uh, spit out the facts. Young Black, uh, Young Black will match everything I'm saying. I need to get him on the show anyway. Yes, yes I'll link you with Young Black. Okay. And young Nick was out there with us. M DJ now, Mr. Oh, Rogers. Joe, how much did y'all get on that trip, man? Because y'all made some money. Man, uh, I think he told so the breakdown, he, didn't he? So did he told the breakdown. Yeah, did Rain do the same thing to all of them or just you? He had all our money. So, and all of y'all went over there. You just took your part? I just took my part. I took my part. How did you know your part, Will? Look, we took how more than what he supposed to Listen get. Listen to me. We already was set. We already had contracts and everything. We was already set. So he gave exactly me my front end. So I knew exactly how much my back, back end, end was. supposed to be. So I took my back end, gave Young Black his back end, and gave him the rest of the money to get to the rest of the cats. I mean, I did. I, like I told you, bro, I'm. I'm, I'm so all about Ryan unity. So part too. I'm Everybody all, yes, got part. You, got your, why you made hell, sure y'all got your yeah, part. Why the hell we didn't been in, we didn't been in Hawaii seven eight hours? Why you still holding our money? Did Give the rest us our of money? Did the rest of them get their money? I would hope so. I mean, I rock with the party boys. I rock with you know B Hemp. So I would. I'm, I'm more than sure they got their money. But I went up there and initiated it. Mm -hmm. I tell you that much. So do you don't think that Rain was gonna even pay y'all? No. Here? No. How do you know? No, because he done. He's done it before. He actually he didn't book shows, uh, not not talking to me. I ain't, didn't know me at the time. Then book shows in my name. I know it for a fact. He went. He was gonna try to scam us. Something was gonna happen to where. Oh man, the people didn't pay. And for one, if you had plans on paying us, why the hell is the money in the trash can under the trash bag? How did you know to look at the trash can under the trash bag? I'm just in there throwing He's and flipping throwing shit. Everything yeah, at I'm going the everything. Skin. So when I grab the motherfucker, it's extra heavy. The fuck. It's two, three little pieces of trash in here. This motherfucker heavy as hell. I take the bag out the money in there. Damn. Come on, man. If you had any intentions on doing anything right, why would you stash so that money So y'all didn't like beat that? him up? No. Because <laughs> no. some people would have been mad mm -hmm. and, and teach him a lesson. Nah, what was the purpose? He wouldn't try. He wouldn't try. He didn't want his yeah, money. I just wanted me. I okay. wouldn't. That wasn't a problem. I ain't no damn villain. <laughs> I, but you I, got your bread. Yeah, I just I was a why after that because you know I ain't never been to a why. After that, we need to go. But yeah, after that it was good. You were kicking it. it was, you went uh, got your little drink, man. With the little straw in kicking it. it. Now nah, we, uh, man, we actually did some work out there. Me and Young Black did a feature with this cat out there. Really? Yeah. Uh, he was on G's the Gents. Man, I forgot bro name, but uh, yeah, he ended up doing a song with me and Black. We did a feature. Shit, man, it was so lovely. Me and Black stayed out there extra week looking for houses and shit. It's hard, man. <laughs> Man, thank you, man. These stories get better and better. You know, Boss Talk got this reputation for everybody always be thinking like, damn, man, why this happened? Because I let people, like I told you, and, and like if I'm about to drive a little Spain. It's like, man, I got to make sure that both sides of these stories coming out at the same time. So I didn't know that. If I knew that, I'd have been calling you. Yeah. 
Yeah. Cause I'm thrown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> I was yeah, like, what man, the hell nigga, he doing, yeah, man? That nigga that done lied on us like that, man. Come on, man. Man, that's funny, man. Because at the end of the day, it be stories like that that people don't know. But then you've heard now. Now, uh, what's the name? Uh, Mr. Hit that had a different t take on it, you know. Yeah. Or as he, he felt you know, like like Rain did some did some good stuff for in the city for these people. Do you think he, he felt like he did some good stuff? He was out there with her. Yeah, he was out I mean, there. I'm not, I can't take it from it. Actually, it was a good look. It was you don't want to set up the play. Yeah, you see, set up the play. It was good for the city. They got you, you right to burn. It. You got to, yeah, don't try to burn us on the back end, man. And then the little chick out there told me I was out there buying pussy. Don't make, I, I, boy, say, I'll expose it all. That one <laughs> thing, yeah. That damn white Yeah, the wheel know them actual factuals. That's why wow. these niggas be trying to keep me out the way, bro. Cause you know, because really I know what down. really go on. I know how it really go down around here. Y'all know I've been. If that was the case, he wouldn't have called your name. Hmm. If that, if that was, was the case, case, like if he was trying to keep you out of the way and not really just get you involved, he, he wouldn't have called your name. He had to go and shoot out that lie. <laughs> he had to go and shoot that lie. He had to. <laughs> man, I just love the fact that y'all, man, y'all got such a deep legacy in the city, man. Who uh, dance was the hardest, man? Mr. Hit that's or, or, or my Dougie? Of course, my Dougie. He gonna say my Dougie. <laughs> of course, I be cutting up. Of course, but, the, the, but you love that. You uh, love the the the, 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 the hit that. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Prince Rick Trill lead them the fam. Do you, fuck we hit that the long way, but but everybody know, everybody know that that hit that was bit off of Dougie, man. What? Come on, come on, come on man. Tell this the truth. Be tripping. You're tell, a, I, a little sure. wheel in the building. Tell the truth, man. Let's tell the truth. The, our, our whole M.O., them boys ran out. They ran out for oh, a blueprint we made. It was right after a blueprint we made. We made that blueprint. I'm the rapper. Spain gonna stand over here and dance. Prince and Trill, Prince and Trick, Trilly, the the rappers hit that. Gonna stand over here and dance. That's our blueprint. Damn. Come on, we did that shit two years before they ever made hit that. My Dougie was in pro. It was uh, soaring two years before hit that was ever created. Wow. And the same goddamn cadence. Call me Mr. Hitho, call me Mr. Hitho, call me Mr. Walk up on the set, stepping with a swag clue, got a drop older so you know I blow bags. Come on, man, I do this shit, man. The motherfucking cadence and everything, man. My dug is gonna always be better because we started this shit. Wow, man! I got I, I never seen that coming because I thought I thought y'all basically just, they just, I felt like it came after and they may have influenced it, but yeah. you feel like it just totally just bit. Uh, if we uh, it's actual factuals, let's tell the truth. Man. And nobody else did it before y'all did it, and not in like that, Dallas. not like that, not like that. Now, see, before now, see, and that's one thing I'm, I, I always tell the truth about that. Lil Joe had a uh, I'ma do this and watch me do that, watch me do this, and I'm that gonna do went hard. You know what I'm saying? That hoe went hard in the bitch, but he, you know, and that was before me. Uh, burn them, uh, uh, trap stars click, yeah. Uh, giddy bitch, yeah, giddy bitch. That was before me too, yeah. But ain't none of them do it like me, yeah. That you know what I'm saying? And you didn't bite nothing off of and them. And I didn't bite nothing off of nothing that they did. I just want to make sure because you know that whenever this goes out, somebody gonna say, "Man, man we did it first. Right. We did it first. They this, this, this. They can't. So I, I just got, gotta ask. Look, we you I don't gotta. How, everybody like going to Google. They can go to Google and check the actual factuals, man. Man, man, okay. thank you so much. This I enjoyed this interview, man. <laughs> you funny as hell, man. <laughs> this is the truth. No, I just like I like to see the culture and and just the the, the pizzazz, so people can understand what Dallas done. And I'm looking at the foundational build of the culture sitting right here on Boss Talk 101. Yes. When you look at this and you go back, you can really get a chance to see what really happened yes. in a way to where you can enjoy yourself listening to it. Maybe even learn some about the music industry as well. Uh, you, we've heard these stories time after time on how people deals kind of went crazy because they were uneducated about it, all kind of stuff. Yes. So I just thank you for coming on and giving your spiel, man. Oh yeah, man, I we love you, man. Having me. We love you to death, man, and to life. Yes. Hey, man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.